Hey guys, Robojack once again, and in this video, I wanted to make a tutorial on something I discovered recently or, or found out what it is. Someone made a room randomizer for Metroid Prime 2, well, specifically for Prime 2. It's, it doesn't work for Prime 1 at the moment, but it should in the future, I hope. Anyways, um, so this room randomizer, as you might expect by the name, basically shuffles around all the rooms in the game and like connects them in a random order. So um, I want to show you guys how to make that work. So first what you need to do is go to this website, uh, Metroid 2002 Forum. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. So you scroll down and you want to look for, where is it? Ah, right here, right at this part. Um, you need to download this randomizer script thingy, which will help you make this work. So just click on, should, yeah, it should take you to a Dropbox. Uh, just download it, direct download, save file. And where is it? Downloads, here we go. So just extract it, because it's a zip file. All right, so now when you go inside of this folder, you want to, let's see, the first thing you do is, you need an ISO of Metroid Prime 2, as you might expect, because that's how you play the game. So once you get an ISO, um, just copy it. I got three ISOs here, because they're different versions, but copy ISO, paste it in the randomizer script folder, it's going to take a little bit of time because it's a large file. So once it's finished pasting, you need to rename it to mp2.iso. Hit enter. Now open the Metroid Prime randomizer.bat file or program. Uh, let's see, it says press 2, then enter for Metro Prime 2 Echoes Randomizer, so press 2. That'll go to Echoes, because this works for Prime 1 and Prime 2, but only the Room Randomizer is for Prime 2. So, once you've done that, you want to press 3. This will dump the ISO. So dumping the ISO means basically it takes like the files off the disk, because an ISO is a disk image file. So it basically takes the files off of that and puts it into a folder, so you can actually like edit it and stuff. Um, so extract the contents, <clears throat> yes, press 1 to do yes, extract the contents, <clears throat> and let it do its thing, <clears throat> something in my throat, Ugh. okay, so, when, yes, you give the game title, customer, uh, no, I'm, you, you can do whatever you want on this part, it doesn't matter, I'm just going to do no to keep the original title, because I don't want to mess with it, so I'm going to press 2, <clears throat> and then just press 8 for exit and close that. All right, so here, this is what it did. It extracted the ISO into this Prime 2 folder. So it's got randomizer files and root. Now, the root folder is what you're going to want to edit. But before you do that, there is actually one more thing uh, that you need to download. Um, so go to this website. I'll, I'll also put a link to it in the description. Um, yeah, go to this website and download Randovania 0.23.0.zip, this thing right here. Um, I already have it on my computer, so I'm just going to bring it up. Where is it? Here we go. So we'll extract it, just like the other one. And so you go inside of it, and you want to go to the... Oh, also, one, one thing to note. Um, version 23.0 of Randovania, you have to use this one because the other versions of Randovania don't work with the room randomizer, or at least the later versions don't work. You have to do version 0 0.23.0. It has to be that version, basically. Just keep that in mind. So anyways, inside of the, that folder, um, you want to go into data and Claris Prime Randomizer. That's the, what you're mostly going to be using. All right, so the next thing you're going to want to do is um, find the root folder that you extracted earlier and 
Um, basically, what I usually do when I when I'm randomizing this is I'll copy the root folder and paste it into somewhere that has like a, a, a short file directory name, if that makes sense. So like somewhere where the file location of that folder is not something really long because I was having like issues, having, having errors or something with earlier when I was doing it, and I think it had to do with the long file location address thingy. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna paste it right into my my hard drive folder, like the, the main, the top folder, so it's like a super short uh, file location address, just so I don't run into any issues. So you can do whatever you want, but this is what I usually do, so I'm just going to paste it straight into my HDD folder. Uh, it takes a little bit of time because it's a big folder. The root folder is kind of big. Alright, so it's in there. So now what you need to do is go to go back into your Randy, randovania folder go to data and then claris prime randomizer click on the, the like the top location file location bar thing the address bar just click in the white area and then type cmd and then hit enter Let's see i make sure i did it in the right spot yeah so this will bring up command prompt um, now this is the actual like program that will randomize stuff basically so with the, in this command prompt what you want to type is basically something similar to let's see something similar to that so basically you start with the word randomizer and then you do space and then uh, put in the location the file location of the root folder that you just copied so in this case I copied my root folder into my HDD where is it there we go so right here root just my HDD so copy the file location of that folder and you put that right after the word randomizer uh, the next thing you do is dash G and then space and then in this case I have an mp2 because I'm randomizing echoes if you want to do mp1 you do mp or if you want to do Metroid Prime 1 you do mp1 so in this case I'm doing echoes so I do mp2 um, but like I said the room randomizer doesn't work with Prime 1 but the item randomizer and other things like that do work for Prime 1 so whatever you want to do, but this is specifically about the room randomizer. So do Metro Prime 2, MP2 for, for Echoes, then space, dash E. Um, this is exceptions, this is like any items. So this is part of, okay, so basically this command prompt has not just the room randomizer, but it's also got the item randomizer and an elevator randomizer and a bunch of different settings. So in this case, dash e would be if you if you want to randomize the items um you can put in exceptions as to you can put in which items you want to not be randomized basically to like keep in the normal spot in this case i'm not i'm not uh or in this case i'm randomizing all the items so i just did dash e none if you wanted to um if you didn't want to do any item randomization then i think you do dash e all no 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 that's exceptions i don't know that that's not part of this that's not part of this video you can there's there's a readme i'm pretty sure let me see yeah there's a readme that says how to do all that so that, that's you, you can figure that out but this is i'm specifically talking about room randomizer so for the room randomizer you what you want to do is dash r in this case i've got two other settings on V is, I think, elevator randomizer. I is item loss removal, which means in Echoes, when you normally would lose your items in the uh, one of the hive chamber rooms, um, if you do dash I, it turns it off. Um, so basically, yeah, this last part right here, dash VRI, that means I have three settings activated. Like I said, V is, uh, v is elevator randomizer, R is room randomizer, and then I is item loss removal. But if you only want to do the room randomizer and then just do dash R, that's fine. Anyways, that's basically the type of command you would do. You start with the word randomizer, then you do the file location of the root folder, then you do which game you're doing, which in this case is Echoes, then you do whether or not you want any items excluded from the randomizer, and then you do certain other settings. In this case, I have V, R, and I. And like I said, there's a readme in the... Where is it? So yeah, in the Claris Prime randomizer folder, there's a readme.txt file. And that says like all the uh, all the options. 
it's like here dash g dash dash s dash dash e h i v w r is a bunch of a bunch of settings but you guys can look at that at, at your own leisure but anyways um so yeah you put together a command similar to that so in this case i'm going to copy copy that and i'm going to just paste it directly into the into the randomizer or into the command prompt so once you got all that set up just hit enter and let it do its thing so he says game set to metroid prime 2 echoes item loss removal enabled which is something i put on elevator randomization enabled i put that on and then room randomization enabled because remember like i said dash r is for the room randomizer and actually the readme doesn't say that so you have to just remember that or write it down or something but the r part after the dash the last dash is the one that randomizes the rooms so it takes a minute or two to do do all the randomization um, in the meantime though with regards to items I'm trying to remember how you like don't randomize any items here we go let me just look at the readme real quick see it's still doing its stuff in the background so I'm waiting for that if you don't want to do any item randomization I'm actually not sure how you do that you probably just do dash e all that would probably work instead of dash e space none you'd probably do dash e space all because it would exclude all the items from the randomizer which means that none of them would, would none of them would be randomized i think so if you wanted to do no item randomization i think that's what you would do and anyways though or but anyways the uh so the command comp, command prompt finished it says randomized and it gives a seed you can use the seed later on if you want to do the same setup of rooms um but that's up to you Excluded pickups, I have none in this case. So when you're done with that, you just hit or either close it or type exit, whatever you want to do. There's also another program that comes with this Randovania. It's up to you if you want to use it, but it's uh, it's a menu mod, which means uh, basically it allows you to bring up this menu that has a bunch of different settings you can do. So for example, you can like you can give yourself items at will, or you can take items away from you, or you can warp to any room in the game. There's a bunch of like cool settings and stuff like that. Um, if you want to use that, all you have to do is open echoes menu.exe. It's, it's in the, uh, it's in the folder right next to Claris prime randomizer, Claris echoes menu, just open echoes menu.exe. And then all you have to do is type in the location of the root folder. So in this case, I have it in my HDD. So I just copy and paste that file location, hit enter, and it'll, it'll edit it for you. So it adds in the the menu stuff, menu mod stuff, which is pretty useful, especially with a room randomizer because like half the time you'll get stuck or whatever. So you can like warp around if you need to or give yourself items just like, you know, if you want to. So what you do now is go back into the randomizer script folder and go under tools. And then you want to open gcr.exe. So it'll open GC Rebuilder, which is a program. So then right from here, what you do is you click on root and then open and then find the root folder that you saved. So in this case, it's in my HDD root. Just hit OK. It'll bring all that up. Then you do root save. I'm going to save it over my previous room randomized ISO. Um, in your case, you would be saving it as a, a new ISO file. In this case, I'm just going to copy or overwrite a previous one I had. So I just hit save. Yes, I want to replace. And the last thing you do is root and rebuild. Let it do that. Hit OK. Then you can close GC Rebuilder. So that part would has the part I just did basically repacked the root folder into a new ISO with all the edits and everything. So the room randomizer and stuff like that. Um, once you're done with that, you can just delete the root folder that you had copied. I think I think I copied it. Oh yeah, so in the Claris Prime Randomizer folder, um, it'll make a logs document, which this thing lists all the items in their locations and everything, and then where the elevators go if you have the elevator randomizer on. So that's just a useful document. So yeah, now that I've repacked it, I can open Dolphin, because that's the emulator I use for echoes and I can open the game 
let's see, room randomized. Yeah, this one. So just open up the ISO that you um, that you saved, and it should work. It you should be able to play it. Now I will say, okay, let me pause for a second. I was having issues earlier when I was tr trying to make this work um, because I had basically I had other saved games on my my in echoes like I had played other games and I had saved games in echoes so every time I tried to do the room randomizer I ran into an error saying that the file save file was corrupted um, but all I had to do to solve that was I just I made a new memory card file basically and use that for the room randomizer because the other one was messing it up so basically you just make a new f um, if you run into a corrupted save file issue just make a new memory card in Dolphin um, and that should solve the problem. In terms of how to make a new memory card all I had to do was I just moved the memory card file out of the folder that it was in so that the, f the folder was empty now and then when I started up Dolphin and started the game Dolphin automatically created a new memory card for me so that's probably what you, what you would have to do if you ran into that issue. So yeah, now I should be able to load up the game, do single player, and you have to do a new game. Keep in mind, every time you do a room randomizer, you have to do a new game. You can't continue an old one because it'll like glitch the files or whatever. But anyways, I'm going to start a new game, and it should have randomized the rooms. I think. Skip these cutscenes and stuff. All right. So when I go through this door, it shouldn't be your standard room. Oh, yep, there you go. See, new room. I'll see where it takes me. <laughs> An elevator. Should I go through the elevator? Well, I don't need to actually like do a bunch of playing. I'm just showing you that the rooms are, are randomized. Let me just go through one or two more doors to show you a little bit more. Let's see where this takes me. Whoa. I'll go through like one more door, just so you can see. Come on, turret. If I die, I'm not going to be happy. I'm just going to boost past that turret. I was actually kind of close. Oh, well, yeah. See? So all the rooms are different, basically. They're randomized rooms. Um, I will say the problem, one problem with the room randomizer is that you frequently run into rooms where you can't go any farther. Like, you'll go through a door and it'll it'll be blocked or something. Like, it'll have something that requires some item you don't, ha don't have or things like that. But even so, I think the room randomizer is really cool. Um, it definitely adds a lot of replay value to the game, to the game and kind of makes it feel like a new experience every time you play because like everything's shuffled around, especially when you do the room randomizer, the item randomizer, and the elevator randomizer. Do like all the ran these randomizers, randomizers combined together really makes it a pretty interesting experience. But yeah, that's basically your crash course in room randomization for Metroid Prime 2. And like I said, unfortunately it doesn't work for Prime 1 at this point, but I think people are working on it to make it for Prime 1 as well, so hopefully that will happen sometime in the future. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, remember to leave a like and, you know, subscribe would be nice. And if you have any comments, like if you think there's some way I can improve this video or you have any questions about the room randomizer, I'd be happy to answer those in the comments. But anyways, I will see you guys later and thanks for watching.